Alright folks, welcome to the channel, Skins for Life, where even a hat bleeds burgundy and gold. Now, there's going to be a couple of things I'm going to talk about. Um, real important things to the gaming community, uh, as far as those that make videos that feature any music, any video games, that somehow in the background has a TV show, in the, or just hearing it. But, um... And shouts out to Smitty for making everybody at TSS uh, aware of this, and that is the Bill S.978, which is an amendment, um, a proposed amendment on what currently is copyright infringement. Uh, basically, this bill is is basically going to make the copyright infringement more restrictive than it is already and what that would mean is that folks like myself folks at the TSS folks at the TRSS and just on a side note please I urge the, the, the person who created TRSS change the name change it to the sim standard nation so that way it's more of a community okay now back to back to um, what I was talking about, um, which makes it a felony for just blanket uh, footage on your videos. And I've heard some people mention the 10 strikes rule that's associated with this and what that means. And I, I, I'm kind of confused about it myself, but basically one person broke it down to the fact that if your video, whatever footage, that's being streamed is viewed 10 or more times basically getting locked up son what is that? I, it, it's crazy to me that they would take folks that didn't shoot anybody, didn't kill anybody, didn't rob anybody, didn't you know kill no dogs that, you know and make them a felon because they want to be creative now I understand, you know, illegal downloading should be curbed, and I, I'm all for that. But don't don't add on the fact that people who don't make money off because here's the other added part of that uh, bill: folks that make money off these off the videos, if they make twenty. I think the num magic number is twenty five hundred or more. Will definitely be prosecuted. So. Um, a sad time, and you know it's it's in its early stages, so it's not like it's gonna be signed or anything. Right now, it was only being reported by the committee. The link to the actual petition for that bill will be at the bottom. So yeah, look down. That's where it will be. Um, second and final thing I will talk about. And this shouts out to uh, San Antonio Corky for putting this petition together for 2K to get up off their ass and give us what we are all trying to get. And that is simulation football back in our video gaming uh, you know, console. Uh, the petition is basically asking... 2K or Take Two Interactive, the presence of the company CEO, to basically, hey, we understand that you your last game All Pro Football 2K8, you know, didn't do too well, and because of that, you guys stopped making football games. Now, it's urging to possibly either make one, make a football game, whether it be All Pro Football 2K13, which we already know there's not going to be a 2K12 or some type of a football game. UFL maybe? I don't think the NFL has a license. I don't think EA has a license over the UFL. You know, you can make UFL 13. I'm sure that would be a big hit because it would be a licensed football game featuring stars in UFL that, just like with all pro football, just to be in the NFL. So you're getting you know a lesser brand of competition in the game itself but you're getting a simulation football game and I'm sure folks would be happy to hear that and two the second thing that 
that the petition by San Antonio Corky is mentioning is that the ability to mod all pro football 2K8, which is great. If the first is not going to be done, at least allow folks to openly mod a game or create a patch that mods the game to where it opens the customs the customization features in the game to where you can customize anything and everything you can customize rosters you know set up a, a, a league schedules we should all have the ability to do it because we want a game we want a basically we want a football game that represents football the way it was meant to be now I will say this because I don't, I don't want this to sound like a 2K love affair or anything because actually I'm pissed at them for not making a football game because that is just not good for business. So um, I will say this about Madden and I will get close into this camera and I will say this is that. I believe Madden is taking the steps in the right direction now. With that being said, they still have ways to go. If, like I said, the NCAA 12 demo was any indication of how Madden's going to play, we're going to. I think Madden will make the bigger strides because they definitely have a new team in place. Not totally a new team, but they basically have a new team in place. And I, I think I've mentioned that Cam Weber is a football guy. So I think things will be a little different under this guy. Even though overall, Peter Moore already said that he's not catering to just the sim heads. He's catering to the casual fans. But mostly he's aiming towards the casual gamer. Because... Realistically, there's only a few of us remaining. We're like the dinosaurs all of a sudden. Man. You know, we're just dying out in this bitch. So, <laughs> as long as there's the sim football community, as long as there's a bunch of us that love sim football, then we would think there would be one company that would cater to that community only make a simulation football game only don't worry about the casual heads you will always have a loyal fan base with the hardcore you know simulation football community again shouts out to smitty for keeping us informed about this bill um, and shouts out to san antonio corky for putting out the petition to 2k so i hope everything on both sides work and i wish you guys a good day and that's all I'm going to say about that. Peace.